with the weekend and 4th of July on Tuesday. We have several days that we can get out and do something. Mrs. Grant, we actually have a huge list of yeah, things. Yeah, we really do. And thankfully, a lot of them are inside and the stuff that's outside is usually happening at night. Yes. Smart. That's how we do it in yes. Tucson. I know. We figured it all out. Right? And so the first one we have is Asteroid Weekend, which we're yeah. kind of no, known for around here. Well, yeah. It's First of all, today is Meteor, uh, meteor Day, oh. and so that's what leads into Asteroid Weekend at the Flander Isle Planetarium. If you haven't been there, they've got some really amazing things. The seats recline. They cast all of this on the ceiling. But in addition to the planetarium shows that they're going to be doing that are asteroid related, they've got asteroid activities, exhibits, and it, they're doing it every day. Today, tomorrow, and Sunday, $14 for tickets at the Flandreau Planetarium on the U of A campus. How awesome is that? It's really cool. I mean, you feel like you are getting the true experience when you're in in that uh, theater because yeah. it passed it on the dome ceiling inside. So it even has that kind of effect of if you were looking into the sky. Yeah, that is so nice. And That's literally really cool. to the next event, we couldn't go more like opposite. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> into the planets, down to cats. I think this is a really great idea, yeah. though, because people love to watch like kooky cat videos mm -hmm. anyway. So why not do that and then benefit the Hermitage Cat Shelter right here in town? So they're doing Cat Video Fest. It's an outdoor screening, so they're doing it at night tomorrow night, 730 at the Loft Cinema. It's eight dollars admission and you get to just hang out with other people who love to watch cat videos. You know, when everybody leaves, they will be smiling. There's something about cat videos. <laughs> Even if you're not a cat person, they are just the quirkiest animal, when, especially when you catch them on video doing like this kind of thing. That's this cat wants to take a bath. Look, cat takes a bath. I could watch that all day. Let's just be <laughs> honest. Uh, and then when I heard this next uh, group is coming into town that I've had all out of love in my head, like ever since. Yeah, I can't it. get it out now. Yeah, yeah they're epic or you know, legendary yes. air supply. Mm -hmm. Everybody knows their music, their ballad music. Is, so many people with love songs or they use this in their wedding or yes. you know, their first date or something like that. Well, they're at Desert Diamond Casino tonight, 8 o'clock. Tickets are $25 to $45. These guys still have it. Their voices are just amazing. And so that would be a great show to catch tonight. Pima Mine Road and I-19. And then we also have a comedian slash actor yeah. slash I'm glad he gets to talk now because it was so sad when he was silent for a long time in his movie. <laughs> He's Kevin Smith. Yeah. So I had to look at it because it said, you know, director, writer, mm -hmm. performs. And I thought, what do you mean he performs? Yeah. And then I realized that he's responsible for things like clerks chasing Amy. So he's that witty, comical kind of guy who is going to be at the Rialto tonight at 8 o'clock. He should be fun to watch. Tickets are 28 to $48, so you can get them right there at the door and make your way in. But yeah, he should be fun. Fascinating, I imagine. Oh yeah, he's really into like the comic book world. And am I right, uh, Aaron? Isn't he Silent Bob? Yeah, he's Silent yeah. Bob. He was from Jane's Sight. That's how I know him. And I was like, he speaks. <laughs> oh my gosh, so, he has a voice. I know. I totally just dated myself, <laughs> but uh, he's going to be hilarious. But I did oh, mention, great. of course, Fourth of July. Yeah. So I think everyone's kind of picking a night to do fireworks. Exactly. Uh, so we have some people that are doing it on the third. Right because some people, well, they don't have to get up the next morning because it's 4th of July, so right. there's something to be said for that. So the first one is at Casino Del Sol. It's a free fireworks show. They figure it's gonna begin around eight o'clock. Of course, it's always dependent on the sky conditions and otherwise. And then there's another one in Vail. They're calling it the Colossal Fourth at the Delago Golf Club, and they imagine that'll start around nine o'clock. And then if you happen to be in the area of Kino Sports Complex, FC Tucson is going to be playing soccer. They're taking on Albuquerque Soul, and they plan a big fireworks spectacular right after that game. So that was all on the 3rd. Yes, so that's Monday night. And then on the 4th, actually the 4th on Tuesday, we've got a huge list. Oh, yeah. A Mountain. This is the big one, of course. West of downtown, they shoot them off right over A Mountain. They begin right around dusk, and you can actually go down to the TCC, and in the parking lot there around 7 o'clock, they're going to start en entertainment and vendors, that kind of thing. And then there's Diamonds in the Sky, which is going to be at Kino Stadium, and it's right after the Tucson Suarez baseball game. Four bucks admission to get into the game. Kids under 12 are free for that game, and then the fireworks are right after. Up in Marana, the Star Spangled Spectacular 
Tyler at Crossroads and Silver Bell Park begins at 9 o'clock. The Ritz-Carlton Dove Mountain, also in Marana, their show begins at dusk. And then we've got the Naranja Park in Oro Valley near Naranja and La Cañada. They are going to begin a show as well at dusk. And last but not least, down in Sabarita, they're going to have the Red, White and Boom at Sabarita Lake Park. And they're going to start Thursday at about 9 o'clock. And that's Tuesday. Yes. So if you got to get up on Wednesday, you might want to consider doing a Monday, Monday show, which is kind of cool. You still get to do the fireworks and you get up the next day and you do your barbecue yeah. and everything. Fourth of July. And we hit basically every side of town. So that was perfect. We There's going to be something nice near to you spread out all around town. Mrs. G, if I don't see you before and have a happy fourth. Happy fourth to you, too. Always love that. You guys can listen to 94.9 Mix FM every weekday morning to catch Greg and Mrs. G on the morning mix. Learn my go more by going to MixFM.com. And as always, we'd be glad to mention your event next Friday. Just send us a message to our Facebook page with all of those details.